Namaste and welcome to Club Prairie Fire, the home of the Duckworth Lewis Stern System tequila and of course also Tabasco. I am the prof and on this awesome, awesome podcast today, the biggest T20 competition in the world rolls on. Yes, the IPL is in full slog mode. Two teams sit atop of the table undefeated, the Rajasthan Royals and the Kolkata Knight Riders with three and two wins respectively. All of the biggest uh, Biggest names in cricket, they're swinging their bats. They're in this tournament, but it's two relative unknowns who straddle atop the batting and bowling stats. Indian Rian Parag, a man who Crick Info is yet to write a website blurb about, is edging out King Kohli to be wearing the orange cap and the Bangladesh Mustafiza Rahman. I hope I said that correctly. The sultry lefty from Satkira dons the purple hat on top of the wicket takers with an impressive seven poles. That's right. Lots of IPL today, uh, along with we're going to try this again if we get to it. The professor's proddings. Lord knows if we'll get to it. I doubt it. And of course, Ollie's quiz. Um, well, uh, let's bring these regular panel, uh, these experts, our regular panel in. Let me first introduce a man who, unlike Ollie, is definitely a keeper. That's Adam Gilchrist. Uh, Hello. Welcome. Here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, of course, next to man, recently named the Rajasthan Royals Head of Social Media, mm. Michael Vaughan. Welcome, Vaughan. Yeah, uh, afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, I, I was the social media manager for the Rajasthan Royals for a day, um, and I retired on the back of a hammering against the Mumbai Indians. I thought I'd go out on a high. And to see the RR team, my, my new favourite team, by the way, now I've got the jersey, um, see them uh, dismantle the powerhouse of the Mumbai Indians in their own backyard at the Wankhede, which we have to say is the best name ground in the planet. <laughs> was Why? something to behold. So I retired last night. I had one day in the role. Uh, it might have had something to do with April Fool's Day, but I decided to go out on a high. The three from three, the batter, the, the, you could argue the biggest franchise in the world. Certainly the, the owners are the richest. Um, and that was a time to say goodbye. So one day in the job. See you later. Uh, yes, Gilly. Yeah. Um, Forney, you're a proper turncoat. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, and not only like turncoating, but doing mm. it right and rubbing it in the face of mm. the mob that you've been in bed with for a year or two, if not yeah, more. Yeah, I, 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 I've, I've been a big fan. I'm still a big fan of the Mumbai Indians. I like what they bring. A bit of chaos um, at the minute with the, with the camp and the captain. See, the captain got booed. <laughs> Poor old heart, it went out to toss the coin and he got booed by his own fans. Kidding. Unbelievable. Hey, let me just bring in Ollie quickly as well um, because uh, I've got a little intro of him. Finally, a producer who promises this week his mind is on the job and not on his new missus. Uh, it's Ollie Silverton. Ollie, how are you? You good? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm well, thanks. And yeah, not on um, not on the missus because she's currently on a plane to Sri Lanka for work. So you know, I'm full focus right now. Um, I thought it might be for the Sri Lanka Bangladesh Test series, but that's actually in Bangladesh. So she's obviously that isn't what she's going to. Um, but yeah, I'm, mm. I'm ready to just focus and knuckle down with some good quizzing. Gee, that's that, that that you wouldn't be looking forward to that. How long is it? Length greatest length of time that you've been separated from. Your young lady. Good, good question. Probably four or five days, and this is going to be eleven. Um, yeah, she's um, so. Um, yeah, going to be tough. Um, thanks. Any thoughts, flowers sent over will be much appreciated. Can I mm. can I suggest it's... delete your apps? Oh yeah, that's a good shout. <laughs> can I just say that I happened to meet the young lady um, at a soiree two weekends ago, last weekend. Was that oh. when it was David Beckham? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I met her, mm. uh, and she was posh. And you know how we were had that sneaking suspicion she that she's, she was dressed as posh spice. Oh, sorry, um, I thought that's what you meant. She was, but uh, no, she's not. She's not posh compared to Ollie. No, right. she's lovely. Yeah. Um, but she, um, our sneaking suspicion that she was dating Ollie just to get to Gilly is a hundred percent correct <laughs> uh, because he is adding massive overs. Uh, and as soon as I met her, I went, oh, yep, Gilly fan. Fair enough. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it started as Gilly. All right. It's moved on to Vaughny. Uh, the obsession oh, uh, right. maybe recently vo follows you, but she's a huge ice bath, which I've mentioned like most days, and that has now become the the interest. Mm. So it might have, may, may have flipped the favoritism. I'll find out. But yeah. Wow. Nick, I don't know. Well, hey, Gil, just to let you know, when you come to Mumbai, just behind the hotel that we're staying at, there's a lovely uh, residency that you can just sneak in. You're not supposed to, but I do. Um, you, you just kind of use your cricket. You, you'll be fine with your, 
obviously your profile you just walk in there a uh, lovely ice bath kind of sauna steam room and, and you get in that ice bath and uh, you, you're sitting there trying to focus on how cold it is and all of a sudden you will get asked but what about that game back in 1984 <laughs> or what about that catch that you dropped yeah Which, more like uh, that yeah yeah uh, or, or, or what about that oh what about when you got out to x or y i mean it, it's it's a challenge to try and get in the ice bath first and foremost, to answer, to do a Q&A while you're in there, it's tricky. <laughs> Send them an invoice. I <laughs> noticed you're giving them a little bit of a plug. Is that the, the mob that you were tagging on your on your socials? No, that, that, that's a, a wellbeing centre. You know, I'm looking after my wellbeing at the minute and there's a lovely lady that runs the uh, the facility here in Mom. If you want a bit of a, if you want to look a bit younger, Gil, and, and, and kind yeah. of get your face sorted out and do that. I'm too sure whether she can do anything for ears, but... Um, <laughs> There's, there's all sorts of treatments in there. There's the cryo. Uh, there's a hyperbaric oh, chamber. Uh, you can have a fascia. You can put those legs on. Um, there's a drip. You can go on some IV drip. <laughs> if, if you want a bit of a pump up when you arrive to Mumbai. So, yeah, a lovely lady runs a, a place called Alexia. So uh, I'll, I'll hook you up when you get down if you want to get younger. Excellent. Look forward now, to Bonnie, it. You were talking, talking when we came on about um, your new role as mm. Rajasthan Royals head of social media. It wasn't April Fool's joke. Mm. How many people do you think you fooled? Well, it, it went quite viral. It made the papers in India. So it, it may have fooled more than you think. <laughs> I mean, the, I like the Rajasthan Royals team. and The, the, the head of social there, he's a, he's a good old character. Uh, and Jake, who runs the operation, he's a, a guy that's running a nice, cool ship. And, uh, yeah, they just said, why don't you take over for the day? I said, well, why not? I, I, well, I'd like to think I've got more than a day in me on social media. But what happened was I was sending them messages throughout the game and it was meant to go straight on their social media. Uh, not one of my messages that I sent them went <laughs> onto their social media site. <laughs> Made an impact. So they diluted my, uh, my kind of messaging, if you know what I mean. Unbelievable. Um, we have spoken about yes, your Ollie. red light sarcasm, which is sometimes lost by um, the Indian audience occasionally. How do they go with um, April Fools in general? Like, would, yeah. would it be recognised <laughs> as April Fools, or is that also just lost in your uh, turncoat? No, I think that was lost on them over here. I, I, I don't even think they know it's April. <laughs> now, Gilly, you jumped straight in with a comment. Did you, you knew he was taking the piss, didn't you? Oh, mate, the way. Flips from looking for commercial opportunity here, there, and anywhere. I thought there must have been something in it. So no, I wasn't. I wasn't aware of the fool. <laughs> the fool. The joke was on me. I just thought it was so courageous to try and do it while you're in Mumbai. If you want to get out of there, Ollie, Ollie, can you just research Australians and uh, April <laughs> Fools and, and kind of their intellect? Because I think I might have done David Warner as well and Dizzy Gillespie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do me a favour, Vaughn, and do not lump all of us in. With David Warner and Dizzy Gillespie when it comes to being full, please. There's well, 26 Adam, million of us. Yeah, Adam Gilchrist is in that group as well. well as well. Oh, without doubt. Without doubt. I just thought it was just, uh, he was just grandstanding for another special opportunity. Long Tom Moody, I think he was grabbed as well. He was hooked, line and sinking. Oh, God. <laughs> um, uh, now, Gilly, I want to congratulate, um, well, both you and Vaughn, if we are moving on about the response to last week's show. Um, Ashwin, absolutely. <laughs> Massive. Oh, That's mate. our biggest episode so far. Hundred over 160 k's on YouTube, still rolling. Over 50,000 subscribers on there now. Massive response on socials. Uh, I just wanted to ask because obviously both of you were providing um, these amazing guests. So, so Vaughny, you got Ashwin. Mm-hmm. Obviously, two weeks before Gilly, you got Pant. Yeah. Um, throughout the years, Gilly, you've got Brian Lara, which is a big guess. Mm. Who got Ravi Shastri? Who was that? Vaughn, he was... Well, it was uh, a double mate, play, double play. We're, 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 yeah. So yeah, here's yeah, the question. Know. If providing guests for this show was an Ashes series, <laughs> who's currently in front? <laughs> well, England, England will have won that morally anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was great that Rajasthan after... Because obviously, you know, you know Rajasthan is owned by uh, an English business guy called Manish Padali. Um, so I think, I think Rajasthan are taking, obviously... Well, I, I know Ben Duckett's taken a lot of credit you know, for the way that Rajasthan have played 
uh, and the way that uh, Paragas particular played, the young Indian batters found some yeah. r- remarkable form. And I know England are, are back home celebrating the way that Rajasthan are playing and the top of the tree, three from three. So it's been a good week for England as well. Yeah. Most, <laughs> mo- any successful cricket around the globe generally... Do you not agree with that, points- Gilly? Uh, no, no, I think I think it, it points back to England. Any successful cricket around the globe always there's a, a strong barometer back towards the UK, isn't it? Mm, Is that yeah. right? Yeah, well, yeah, it seems to be the case, doesn't it, that uh, most things that happen within the world game that's any good it seems mm. to be linked to England, yeah. Yeah. Big congratulations uh, to England. Let's um let's get our English fellow Ollie here to do his quick social update. We do have a, a sponsor still, gentlemen. Yeah, oh. Nord, NordVPN. They're still here, and it's a very relevant week for them because I, you should know by now. But what they do is they can hide your virtual location, change it, swap mm. it, um, so you can watch your favourite shows um, or sport, which is more pertinent right now. So just click on the button. You. Totally legal. <laughs> totally legal. It's fantastic. Sure. It, this isn't going like, to come back to Hornus in about 10 years. It sound legal. The way yeah. you describe it, they can hide your location. It's, that just does not sound legal. Yeah, just swap it over. Um, they're the best in the business. There's a few of them. Um, they are the best. Um, I'm actually off to Hong Kong um, for the rest of the week, so I'll be using it to do the IPL. But Vaughnie in India, you can watch your beloved chef for Wednesday, obviously. Um, I don't want to. I didn't want to say that there have been some comments about a 6 0, I think, defeat recently, was it? Maybe. Or, yes. Yeah, um, yeah 2 0 yes. yesterday, yeah. It, oh, God. It, it's been tough. But if you do want it, then it's uh, www.nordvpn.com forward slash CPF. That's a big discount, four months oh. free, and a gift. And on that social update, there were loads of comments about Ashwin episode, obviously. Uh, but one, the main yeah. social thing wasn't on our socials. It was a certain Brian Lara wearing a oh. club Prairie Fire cap on his Instagram whilst playing golf with Sachin Tendulkar. Now, the little master has been a lot of comments. When's he coming on? So that would get a lot of runs in the Guest Ashes series if you can land him. Yeah. Gilly, are you, are you more like are you more like Gilly? <laughs> Oh, well, now that Vaughan is off Mumbai, um, oh. there's no chance of getting on to Sachin. But, no, I think yeah, Sachin will be interested in speaking to me again. I've not really spoken to him since that ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, is he our white whale? Mm-hmm. Is he? Or is He's it huge? Is it Virat? Would you go Sachin? No. Virat? Sachin. MS Dhoni? Good oh, question. Well, MS does just. You're talking, just be- you're talking huge now. Well, but the thing about MS, I think he is the absolute, mm. you know, the holy grail because he just doesn't do interviews and mm, never okay. and hasn't, doesn't do press, didn't do them when he was playing. But no, just a blanket no. So that I he's... reckon you can, Gilly, I, I think you're the man there. Wicketkeeper, played a similar role. I must mm. admit, I'm really, really keen on MS's hair at the minute. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I love that lid. Good so I, I'd love to talk to to him about the lid. So if you can mention that, it's not with me about cricket; it's about the hair and the the do. Well, hey, and and what about the other day? Like, no one was really sure, you know, what he's got left in the tank. He had didn't bat in the first couple of games, but albeit in a losing calls, pulled the trigger, mm. turned the clock back. That was thirty-seven. Thirty-seven oh. off sixteen. <laughs> there's, there's only, I reckon, there's only maybe one sports person in the globe that team could lose, and on the opposition was a young fella called Rishabh Pant who has made a remarkable comeback, and it's great to see him playing. But to see him playing so well and to see mm. him play the way that he did, and his team was was the winning side, and he was the captain. Yet all the talk was about MS's thirty seven off 16 deliveries. That is how powerful. And got to remember, Delhi Capitals, it was played at Vizag, and that was their home game. And the whole ground was yellow. The whole ground was yellow. It's a, it's a little bit like in the Premier League at the minute. You know, I think there's 10 games to go, and, and all the Liverpool fans want to see Jurgen Klopp. So every single game is huge because they want to see Jurgen Klopp. And you get a sense over here that every single game the grounds are jam-packed in yellow because they just think, and, and it might not be because he's not announced it, they're just thinking this could be MS Dhoni's last year playing cricket and they want to make sure they get a glimpse of it. Mm. There was a comment on socials during the week saying that 
before MS Dhoni, the only keeper Indians loved was Adam Gilchrist. Yeah, I think this is you, Gilly. So there's a chance uh, when we know Rishab had a picture of you on his wall. Mm. There's a chance MS had a little Gilly photograph somewhere. Mm. He did. He he did dedicate his first hundred for India to me. I think. Um, oh, this is this is that is, real? Does he yeah. have a phone? Does he have a phone, MS? Or he's got a yeah, burner. Really, got a couple yeah. of burner phones, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. I can't imagine he answers his phone so many. Oh. Yeah, uh, I'll ping him a message and see how we are. Right? Have Ooh. you got? A, have you got his number? <laughs> Let me see it. Yeah, you my, if you've got MS Downey's number, why don't you send him a message now? <laughs> I was, yeah, was going to say, if not, we'll do it from the club Prairie Fire's official account because that would probably get him. If not, I imagine you know, watching all the clips. Oh, you yeah, think that's bigger than Gilly? <laughs> I'll block it out. But I told a lie there actually about Sachin. The last time I saw him, it was actually in New York, Gilly on our. On our oh, famous yeah. tour, the All Stars tour to where did we go? Yeah. New York, Houston, LA. Yeah, that <laughs> was huge. Trip. <laughs> um, Wait, are you are you about to show us his number here, Gilly? Have you got? No, it on... I won't. I was going to show you that he's in my contact. Then there's evidence of prior contact. So I'll, what I'll go with the standard um, new phone. Who dis? Um, no, I'll, <laughs> I'll say. Um, are you still on this number, old boy? <laughs> Yeah. Now, yeah. Do, will you, Ollie and Vaughny, will you admit that we've won the Ashes? Yeah. Yes, getting Ashes if Gilly gets MS Doney? Without question. Okay. Yeah. You, you not, can actually have the next one as well. Not morally. <laughs> not the moral Ashes. But yeah. Right. I think, uh, <laughs> no, I think we'll be all right down here. Hey, Gilly, can, um, I just, can I just bring something to my, you know, I've just seen, where are you? You seem to be around a lot of sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> it took 18 oh, minutes. Uh, oh. I hadn't noticed. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sitting in a, a little showroom of a, a business down in the southwest of Western Australia, mm. Otis Eyewear. They are the finest eyewear protection. They're very very sharp looking, but they are pure natural, made of their glass lenses. They're not plastic. And uh, am I? Does it feel like I'm doing a sales job for them? Mm, uh, you're doing well because I need some. If you could ask them, I mean, if if they can get some sunglasses to me with a bit of you know, a bit of something in there so I can see. Oh, what prescription stuff? Or yeah, something. Yeah, something I could because I always feel by the pull, it's worth being able to see. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no, they do pres- prescription lenses as well, but they're uh, all natural mineral glass and they're brilliant. OtisEyewear dot com. Get on there, mm-hmm. and that, yeah, that, they- that that that's just a free plug from me because Very they're good. brilliant people. Yeah. down in the local community and basically the Wi-Fi in my house down here <laughs> was so bad when we had Brian Lara on that I thought I'd come in here and uh, utilise their uh, facility. It's beautiful. So, so, Gilly, what you're saying is they're yeah. similar to the England cricket team. They're trying to save the planet. Well, they are. They are. Yeah. Look, I'll take you on a little look. There's, um, They do surf oh, software yeah. as well. Yeah, um, now, I'll take you on a little look. Yeah. yeah, look at this. For those that want to, this is odd. Oh, down south, thought I'd go out and catch a couple of waves this morning, but the um, it was a bit big for me. So oh, geez, that's not a shark bite. That was the wave where I snapped my board. But um, anyway, there you and go. There's Imogen. That they don't need me promoting them. There's Imogen. Uh, Can we go a bit closer to Imogen? Let's have a look. Lovely. Yeah, awesome. I don't Lovely think awesome. you, I don't think you'll be uh, on next year's poster, Gilly. <laughs> I don't think so either, mate. Mm. But anyway, otisiwear.com. Get on there. Fantastic. From Imogen, let's Tell head we to, you. Let's let's yeah, Gilly. There's a there's a code. You say Gilly, twenty yep. percent off. Is that right, yep. Gilly? Something. Yep, I think so. Let's go from uh, Imogen and talk some cricket. I'm sorry, Vaughny. I can see the shoulders dropping already. <laughs> We're going to talk some IPL, mate. You, can I just say, yeah. Yes, you've jumped off the Indians, but geez, you put the mockers on them. They are laying, they're at the bottom of the table. Um, they've just lost to the Rajasthan Royals um, mm. royally. Mm. Um, they just they lost by six wickets with twenty seven balls left. Um, what's going on, mate? Hey, Prof, you, you, just if you do your research, they're doing exactly what the buzz ballers do. They allow the opposition into the game and then push. If you study the Mumbai Indians over the history of the IPL, they generally do this. They start slowly. They allow the opposition, the tournament, to write them off. And then all of a sudden, Rohit... Look, the big debate is, will Rohit end up back as captain? 
that has caused a, a lot of drama uh, here in uh, India. Uh, the booing, I have to say, I mean, I don't know what you think, Gil, but to, to, the Indian crowd generally just love cricket. I've yeah. never heard them boo. And I've yeah. certainly never heard them boo one or the other. And I get it when he played for Mumbai at the Gujarat Titans. He, he's left them and he was the captain the previous two years. He'd done great with them. So I kind of get that in a, in a pantomime kind of way. But to think he then went to Hyderabad and got booed by the Orange Army, to then think he's come to the Wankhede where he's a local boy, <laughs> he's playing for the Mumbai Indians and he's getting booed by that crowd at the Wankhede. And I'm going to keep saying the Wankhede because I just love the ground, the Wankhede. Um, I, I'm just staggered by it. I've never, ever seen it in Indian. Uh, I'm sure someone will, will write and say, oh, it happened in 1985 or 19. I, I've never mm-hmm. seen an Indian crowd boo one of their own. It's remarkable. I think I think it shows you the status that Rohit Sharma has in, in the game there. Probably that just confirms that. And particularly, uh, obviously, we pulled by uh, five, five titles. And mm. uh, just the, the, the mis- mysterious manner with which it all played out initially, and I'm sure there's plenty out there now that know a lot more detail than, than we do, but just the, the, the pace with which it happened and everyone was a bit stunned about them getting uh, Hardik Pandya away from Gujarat and back and then to, to see uh, Rowett relinquished of the captaincy. Now, how much Rowett was involved in it or had knowledge of it, who knows, but it shows you the standing that he has in Indian cricket. So it, it's an odd one, it's, but I guess it's... I think it's a nature of the the beast of of the IPL. What the IPL is, it's mm. a byproduct of the IPL and the the fierce intensity and that tribalism uh, within uh, fan bases. Um, it's pretty hard to rep. It's not often replicated if it's been replicated anywhere else in cricket with that level of intensity. But Gilly, that I don't the focus. I I don't think. And Ollie, can you research? I don't think there's ever been a Premier League footballer that has been booed by his own supporters. David Beckham after, was it uh, France 98, when he got Mm -hmm. sent off against Argentina, he came and all the Premier League opposing teams booed him wherever he went. But I I can't remember a home player getting booed by his home supporters. I'm going to throw a top of my head, no Googling here. There was a very famous fight, Kieran Dyer, Lee Bowyer. They were teammates at Mm. Newcastle and just went at each other. And I seem to recall that one of them was not overly popular um, (laughs) after that. But that's the only one that springs to mind. It's very rare. There was a famous one here in the rugby league. The Newcastle Knights had won two wooden spoons in a row. They were going for their third. And as the players were leaving... There was um, some booing coming from the hill and the management went over to try and stop the booing and it was a group of 11-year-old girls <laughs> that were booing <laughs> that were booing the side. That I mean, that's well, I guess that's rugby league. It's slightly different. But, yeah, I was wondering, I wanted to ask you, Sanjay Mandraker, he was the presenter out there and he asked the, he asked the crowd to behave. Behave. Does he have that sort of power? Can he silence an entire <laughs> crowd? Honest. I mean, so I could see what Sanjay was trying to do, but they booed even louder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get on with the job and just try and interview the captain. You know what's going to happen. You don't need to stir it up anymore. Oh. Um, yeah, it, it's it's very interesting. It'll be very interesting to see this next week or so what happens with the Mumbai Indians because there's lots of noise. As there always is in the IPL, you lose a couple of games of all the franchises. Gilly, you've been involved and it's, mm. it, it's pressurising for the players, for the captains, for the coaches. You feel like it's the end of the world when you lose one game, never mind two. But to see them lose the first three, you know, it's, uh, it, you know, Delhi the night before a beat CSK, they were not from two, then uh, one from three. So Mumbai right at the bottom of the tree. Um yeah, it's going to be tough times. For I, I, honestly, I don't see them coming back because I don't think they've got the bowling. I think the batters will be okay, but I just don't think they've got the bowling. Other than Bumrah, I think they're going to really struggle with the ball in hand. I, I think it's a good point. I think uh, they're missing already Berendorf. Uh, mm. He was, uh, you know, he's, he flies under the radar compared to a lot of the names in the IPL, but he's a very, very reliable T20 bowler. And he did a job for him last year uh, in, in a pretty successful manner. Um, a win in the IPL buys you three days happiness. Simple as that. Mm, Doesn't guarantee you anything else, but it just means that everyone's happy for three days and then half the day before the next game, everyone gets nervous again and then you're on a nice edge and then you see what happens at the end of the next game. So, uh, Vaughan, your point, Mumbai know how to dig their way out of this as a franchise, but I do think they're lacking a little bit of firepower with the 
with the prune and uh, and there's clearly, I think, a little bit of unrest. Just on the booing, um, I was booed all the way to the wicket and all the way off in my first game for Australia in Australia at the SCG. Wow. It was a new look one day team. Ian Healy had been uh, disposed of as wicket keeper, and I got hammered all the way out of the field and all the way off. So um, I know I know what it feels like. Just just I'll get on to Hardik and I'll get him through. Was that also Gilly because you'd moved west? Because no. you no, they didn't no, that, care about that. No, that was three years earlier at the Wacker in my debut for my new adopted state. I got booed all the way on and all the way off. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, maybe, just... maybe, hey, Gil, maybe you're the you're the man to send a message to Hardik and just say, "Look, I've been there, mate. Do you want to come I'm, on the pod and we can discuss it?" I'm the yeah. boo whisperer. I know how to get inside their minds and just uh, get them through. So I'll get on to Hardik. I've sent that message off to MS too. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that, and I'll, I, I don't have a number for Hardik, but. If I get on to him, I'll get him on and we can get inside his mind and help him dig themselves out of the trouble that they're in. Mm, we're in a deep hole. Yeah. Now, man who's here in the reverse of booze at the moment is who uh, the Indians lost to at the Royals, Rian Par- Parag. Mm. Mm. Who, tell me about this young man. He's, as I said, he's on top of the batting list. He's wearing the orange hat, 54 not out against the Indians and then 84 off 45 against the Delhi Capitals. What's, what's his story? Well, Rajasthan are, are, are in a, a position that they've got experience. You know, they've got Joss Butler who's been around the traps. They've got Ashwin. They've got Chahal. They've got Trent Bolt. So they've got a, and a massive experience. But the key to the IPL, and they all talk about you, you've got to get your Indian batters playing well. And they've got Yassi Sweet at the top of the order. It's not fired yet. So that's a, a big plus to come for Rajasthan. They've got mm-hmm. Sanju Sampson full of experience and a quality player. Now they've got Parag playing as well as he is. Uh, that's why they're all getting very excited about Rajasthan, could it be this year? They started really well last year and kind of faltered towards the end, but uh, they seem to have every every tool going. They've got experience, they've got the combinations with the ball. I actually look at quite a few of the, the IPL teams this year and the bowling doesn't look strong. Mm. But if you look at Rajasthan, CSK have always got the mix. They've always got lots of uh, combinations that work. They've got the mentality. Uh, Gujarat with Noor Ahmed and Rashid Khan as the pitch where I think they're going to be a strong combination. Uh, but Rajasthan, uh, I've just done a couple of days with them in the hotel and they, they do have a bit of confidence about them. They've got some guy, he actually played paddle with us and, and I'm sorry, but I forgot his name. He He's come from F1. Oh, So they've appointed someone from Formula One to sort out their operating, their performance levels. Um, so they're, they're taking it probably seriously. Their physio actually played paddle with us, Gil. And, um, yeah. you know, we play for an hour and a half in the be- glaring heat at 9am till half past 10. Don't know what the temperature was, but it was fucking hot. Um mm. And he, he actually went down of the four of us. It was a 4-3. <laughs> Trambolt played, uh, F1 played, Joss Butler played. I played first day uh, arriving in Mumbai. The physio went down. <laughs> he went down. <laughs> it's made me chuckle. That's good. That's good. Yeah, they're hey, looking strong, Rajasthan. Is, is F1, is he English by chance? Is I think he might be Australian. Oh, right. Good. Mm. I, no, I, didn't know that. Yeah. I should really know. Um, I mean, I wasn't on his team, I wasn't on his court, but he, he has massive guns. Yeah. And I think yeah. he's an Australian. Hey, um, from, I, I actually know. think he might be from Perth. <laughs> it's not Daniel Ricardo, is it? <laughs> yeah. um, uh, Avesh Khan looks good. Mm. I like him. I like him. I like him in amongst, you know, as you say, you've got Bolt, Chahal, Ashwin, three, the three real big names there burger bowl some decent wheels uh, uh, at the top there as well but he got a little bit of tap early but then uh was in amongst the wickets but avesh khan i reckon he looks like a, a real player there so um no, well balanced team Vaughan. i can see why you've um turned coated and uh, yeah and I've, I've kind of turned I've, I've always had a bit of an affiliation with them because of joss butler and a few of the england players but uh yeah they're looking strong this year did you see mayan yadav bowl Oh, no. A couple of I've nights ago, the life. young 21-year-old, 155 kilometres an hour, he threw him down there. Yeah. Ooh, he was oh, yeah. yeah, we like the look of him. He looks yeah. a character. He's got a great lid. I, I, I like judging a lot of the IPL players, and particularly the players, on their lids. Yeah. You know, their hairdos. You know, I, I mentioned their message, but this kid, mind, no, he had a, his hairdo. Whew, get ready for that. Yeah. Speaking of Yadav, your, your Yadav, Vaughny, that you've backed, 
Did you? I mean, he didn't play that Ninja. second game. But Indeed. the first game, did you see when he made Rishabh Pant do the symbol for the for the review? He actually took his hands and made him do the. <laughs> he was right. His review was right. It was Josh Butler, and he was correct. But he forced the keeper slash captain into actually pushing it upstairs, and uh, he did the trick. Should we? Yeah. I'm a bit concerned about Kuldeep and uh, him being top of the tree in the wicket uh, taking column. I thought he made a decent start with a couple, but you know he, he's got a bit of chasing the fizz. The fizz is flying away, isn't he? I think he's. I think he's doing better than my pick. <laughs> yeah, old Starkey. None for forty. Mitchell Starks or none for a hundred off eight overs. Yeah, yeah he's, he's <laughs> travelling, isn't he, Starkey? <laughs> He's he's winning, though. The, the Knight Riders are winning, undefeated. Uh, and that's all he's worried about. Not the yeah. pay packet, nothing else. He's just worried about winning, <laughs> the, doing the job. As one um, one bowler I has caught my eye in doing rounds on social is the Sri Lankan Pathirana. He uh, obviously, yeah, the, the back-to-back Yorkers, uh, well, mm. Mitch Marsh, clean bowled, Dot, yeah. then another one. And his angle of release, very Malinga-esque. Uh, how do you go about facing him? Because he's, yeah. he's doing the rounds for um, CSK, isn't it, I believe? he's at, Yeah. Yeah. Forget, well, if forget he's two in two. What about his catch to get rid of David Warner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, the, the flying, <laughs> the albatross came flying Seven. across to the right. What a grab that was. Yeah. He's a character. That, that, that ball that got Mitchell Marsh, I mean, I, I'm sure we'll get Mitch on the podcast again soon, but I reckon that ball swung in and out. I reckon <laughs> it did both. I think it was a snake, and and it dipped at the end. Yeah, it's a good cherry. That did I you? Thought that, I thought that that the other thing, Vaughn, and I know it's, a, it's at least a couple of years in, is the um, uh, what what do they call the inject the the player, um, the impact player, impact impact player. Impact. Impact player. Mm-hmm. Um, good use of it by Mumbai last night. They were a quick, astute. They lost a couple of quick wickets. Uh, and knew that they were probably a bit bowling here, so they, they bought in um, Devil Brevis straight mm. away, batting first. Yeah. Um, impact got player, got resolved first ball. So <laughs> that's um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, I like the fact that they were quick on their feet to think about getting their batter in as an impact player. I tell you, I was talking to the impact player. I mean, I was looking at Travis Head in his first game for the, the Sunrise when he, he smashed 50 quickly. So they mm. batted first to get 277, and then he was replaced. He didn't even have to field. Oh, that's gold, isn't it? What that's, a job that is. That, that is what a every, game that was. Every batter's been hoping for for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> 38 sixes in the one match, an all-time record. Yep. Um, that's your Indians losing again. Uh, uh, amazing. And Paddy Cummins, can, can, you know, he can captain the country. He can captain his IPL side. Is there anything he can't do? Well, they've, they've only won one from three, so he's, he's not doing that well. Yeah, but they won that one match. Yeah, so. they've won one from three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, he's doing no, all he right. He, he, he's a good captain. He's got a, a, it, it, it helps as a captain when you've got someone called Henry Klassen in your side. Yeah. He's as good. He's as good as they get whacking it in the middle. Him and Nicholas Puran hmm. can smoke it. Smoke it from ball one. All right, hey, should we take a quick look at our picks and how they're going? So we we already touched on Mitchell Stark. Yep. He's struggling. Not going great, Gilly. None for 47 since we last spoke. And Jazwal, that's who you picked to lead the batting. Yeah, <laughs> he's just he's just chilling out. He's laying it to He'll come good. He'll come good. He got yeah. 10 uh, and 5, his two innings. And then you, yes, Sunrise is Hyderabad. Yeah. That's who you have picked, and are they? One, I've got them one and one here, Vaughn. But you're telling me they've one, lost all no one, one and two, one and two, yeah. one and two, one and yeah. two. Apologies. Oh, yeah. this is since we last spoke. Um, Vaughn Yadav. Well, we all know he did okay. One for forty-one in his first in his first match since we spoke, and then didn't play against um, hmm. Chennai. Coley though. <laughs> oh. He's, yeah, playing tonight. Well. He's, play, he's playing tonight as well against Lucknow, yeah, Justin Langer's team at his home venue. So he might yeah, chalk yeah. up a few more. Yeah, eighty-three off fifty-nine, and then are we are we now officially changing your team to Rajasthan? No, no. Who what? did I say? Who did I say was going to win? Mumbai Indians. Mumbai. We're, we're going to win. Yeah. Oh, the whole conference. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm staying oh, with them. Mumbai will come good. Don't worry yeah. about them. Just having a bit of a breather. Okay. 
All right. Then Ollie, you went Livingston. Yep. He got, he's, he's injured. 20, <laughs> he's injured. He got no. 28 in one match. And Sam, <laughs> Sam Curran, he did okay. Three for 28. Sam Curran's a super nice. He's in the top 10 wicket. He's 10th place, top wickets. Uh, 11th place behind yeah. Rabada. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's still about eight behind. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your Punjab? Where's your Punjab Kings, Ollie? Yeah, I didn't want to mention, uh, bro. I didn't want to mention, but looking at the table, we, we've got the Mumbai, Mumbai Indians from Vaughan in tenth out of ten. Uh, yeah. Then, then I think you were Bangalore. They're ninth out of ten, and I'm eighth out of ten. We've got the bottom three. Oh, <laughs> where's well, Billy? Well, I'm, I'm fifth, fifth but we're still the same fifth. amount of wins as you guys. <laughs> well, my, my bowler Moeen Ali You're... is yet to walk out onto the pitch, but. <laughs> The Super You're Kings what? have got to give him a run soon. Hang on, sorry. He's not going to play for Chennai. They, don't, they just don't change the team, ever. Are you, so are you claiming Mo and Ali? You not got? No, I, I, when you told me Zampa had pulled out, I yeah, switched to Mo. Oh, jeez, you've got to stay with your pick, mate. You might get <laughs> called just to just to give you an insight into Mo and Ali and uh, Chennai and their selection, the, the story over here is that the, the the person that does the graphics for the TV on the first game for Chennai then has eight weeks off. Off, <laughs> he disappears. <laughs> well, it doesn't go and look again. Well, they never changed the team ever. I was listening to a podcast today to obviously steal information, and they were saying that that pitch when they lost to the Delhi Capitals was perfectly suited to Moeen, both with bat mm. and ball. Mm. So, yeah, I don't remember the name of the podcast, but all my opinions are from there, and thank you for that. Um, Rishabh Pants, the other one I've got, he's doing okay. 28 against the Royals and then uh, 51 against the Super yeah. Kings. i tell you what, mm. he, tell you what he is, 20,000 US lighter in pocket. <laughs> oh, he got done, didn't he? Over yeah. eight. Mm. Over eight. I don't, Jeez, don't fuck around with the fines, do they? <laughs> 20 large. So, yeah. And now, that's, uh, yeah, well, that's, there you go. That's where we all sit. Um, did you want to run through that table very quickly, Ol, just so people know who's at the top? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, right at the top of his new team, <laughs> Rajasthan Royals, uh, just ahead of Cocker. <laughs> it's, it's a nice kit, isn't it? It is. It it's is. luminous. There you go. Um, beautiful. What number you got? Have they got your... They got Vaughn ninety nine on there or what? No, not quite yet. It's coming. It's coming. Don't worry. Did you take your Cluj kit out there? Like you've been recognised from Cluj on the street? Yeah, it'll be packed. Sure. I, 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 I'm not kidding. You. Yesterday, I arrived at the hotel in Mumbai, checked in, and some kid ran up to me and went, "Club Prayerify, Club Prayerify." And I'm not making that up. Yeah, he ran up to me about the podcast. No, this and is he, he wasn't related to me either. That's good. That's good. We're getting that out there. Well, mm. Matt, um, I met you. You guys, all three of you, would get recognised a fair bit. I had it for the first time in my life on the weekend in Indian Home Diner, a takeaway, one of the great ones in Paddington. I've worn the hat before, sure. And it was a Club Prairie Fire fan. I'm trying to find his name because he texted me and he's going to have a shout out, and I can't find it. But he genuinely, a young Aussie guy, probably mid twenties, and just loves the show. Bizarre. And he went to the great college right. curry joints in Sydney. Oh, 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 just God. just quietly on you. I know you've got a girlfriend now and you obviously off, I would think, the dating apps. If this girlfriend doesn't go as well as you'd want it to and you go back on the dating apps, will you put as part of your profile that you're on the podcast? Absolutely. Yeah, we've top line. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Unashamedly. Um, great work running through that ladder there, uh, you got yeah. to the top, Ollie. Yeah. Well, I'll do this. Yeah. Just do the top well, board. it'll have changed by the time we get it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Knight Riders are second. <laughs> uh, Super Kings third. Uh, Gadgerat Titans are uh, Gadgerat. Uh, what did you call Gadgerat? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Gadgerat. Inspector Gadget Titans are fourth. Right. All right, good luck to them. Hey, yeah. um, well, anything else in the IPL, um, lads? Anything else? Uh... It's no. carnage over here. <laughs> Are you enjoying your time there, Vaughny? No, I love it. It's great. I mean, it's it's just a, it's quite hard to explain to those that have never been to India when the IPL is on, of how big it is. It's that, mm. I mean, I'm just I'm looking outside. I think Rajasthan is just leaving the hotel, and there's there's hundreds of people just stood outside the hotel just to try and get a glimpse of. About all they're going to do is get a glimpse of them on a coach. Yeah, they're not going to get near the players. They 
basically turning up to wave at the Rajasthan Royals on the way to the airport. And the Rajasthan Royals players will just wave out the window. That's it. Yeah. But there's hundreds outside the hotel. Unless they're here to see, you know, me, but I don't think they are. I'm pretty okay. sure they're here to see the Rajasthan Royals. I don't see them with club profile flags or banners. No. Well, just hang on. A few don't pink see, shirts. Don't sell it short. I noticed you, you sent us through a pic of you going and getting the shave down the road from the little uh, barber razor bloke. And, uh, He's waiting I for noticed, you, Bill. Yeah, I can't wait. I, uh, I hope he takes a bit of my left ear off, actually, and I'll still have what's left. But um, <laughs> I noticed he... He had some merch on his desk. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he had, he had a club crew bike cap. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, he did. Just on, just on the uh, the, the ledge there, just in front of the barber chair. Um, it might have been mine, but <laughs> I don't oh, think did you so. wear it in there? All oh, right, yeah. okay. Yeah, oh, I don't, shit, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, cool job. Well, it's, it's, it's uh, Gilly, just when you arrive here, it's just around the back and he's called Akil. He's waiting Akeel. for you. Just just again, just to let you know when you sit on the chair, he will take you through every picture that he's had taken with a cricketer over the last 40 years. All right, I'll get him to I'll get him to rate him. Hey, that you're so right, Vaughn, about the, the crowds around the hotels. I remember you used to arrive, get onto the you know, get the airport, get through, get on the bus, and off you'd go. And then it was like Le Mans. All the blokes that had been there tr- trying to sort of touch you as you walk onto the bus, run and get on their motorbikes and off they go. And they just dried next mm-hmm. to the bus, just all trying to zip around each other, trying not to crash, dodge a cow, dodge people. Dodge a side street vendor, looking up, waving. And, you know, at one point they're sort of going, get, 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 autograph, autograph. <laughs> Hang on, mate. You're absolutely we're, right about we're the going count. 60 k's an hour here. And the next mm-hmm. minute, you know, open the window and a pen fires in and they're <laughs> unbelievable, their enthusiasm. It's, it is contagious and infectious. It's, it's, it's hard to describe. Speaking of super contagious, um, you know, well, well, enthusiastic fans with contagious energy. Um, did you see how scared Rohit Sharma was? There was someone ran on the pitch yesterday to give him a hug um, at first oh, slip. He got through that? security, gave it, and and it really it was one of the most awkward hugs anyone's ever seen. But the security guards anywhere else in the world, they rugby tackle them. He just walked basically off with a little uh, an army man next to him just to have a good day, basically. But he got he got his wow. hug from Rohit at first slip, which I think is very rare from the games I've seen there. It wasn't uh, Mukesh Ambani, the owner of the Mumbai Indians, was it, trying to go and make up with him, <laughs> trying to say, will you be captain again? <laughs> he probably gets fair access to Rohit. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. I, I, I put a bit of video on uh, my socials there with a, a game of cricket taking place yeah. uh, in, in the middle of quite a busy road. They had the, yeah. the yellow plastic stumps, um, you know, like those uh, quick cricket stumps in the middle of the road, mm. having a knock, and all of a sudden this truck came straight through. And, they, I mean, it's, it's the first time I've seen a game of cricket in India having to stop for a truck. Usually they just play <laughs> around the cars and the, the motorbikes, but this truck, he was having none of it. Uh, yeah, it was great, Steve. <laughs> the official batting on a road came into, uh, into my mind, but that's what you get in India. You get crickets everywhere. Wherever yeah. there's a piece of land, a piece of space, there will be someone whacking a ball, bowling a ball, trying to emulate the heroes. It's uh, it's great to see. <laughs> well, let's try. That's a perfect segue. Let's try this Professor's Ponderings quickly if we can. It's yep. just meant to be digging into your cricketing past, and it is the Professor's Indian Ponderings, if you don't mind. All right. If you'll uh, humour me. If you don't like it, tell me to get stuffed. All right. I want to start with what's the best ground in India to play at? Wang KD. Is that just walking uh, on the way and seeing the sign, or is that mm. actually out the middle? Well, there's Sachin, the Sachin statue as well there that you can, oh. you know, have a look up to and uh, Steve Smith a, statue. Yeah, and, and, and realise it's Steve Smith. But yeah, the Wank KD Stadium is the. Really? Stadium. Uh, I can't go past Durham Shala. That's just. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you can see the Dalai De- 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 Lama up there, can't you? you can yeah. see the Dalai De- Lama. Big hitter. Mm. Yeah, long. So, mm. um, best innings that you guys played in India that you can remember? Didn't play many. Mm. In Ashba, I got sixty-four and then handled the ball like a fucking idiot. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was well on my way to four hundred one. <laughs> And, and handle the ball. Mm. Gilly? Uh, probably 100 off 80 balls at 1KD. 
uh, in a test. And I go. thought we won in three days. I went in at five for 99. Haydos and I put on a squillion. We knock them over. We win in three days. The first time Australia's won a test match there in 30 years. And I thought, what have they been doing, these blokes, all these other Aussie teams? What have they been doing in India? It's so easy. In my next two test matches, I got a king pair and a pair of ones. I faced 16 <laughs> balls for the rest of the series. I love uh, that. Careful, careful, beware the rusty gate coming back yeah, to smack just, in the just, face. Just, uh, just on the big Dos Haydos, hey he's always out here in the IPL. I, I love his uh, pitch reports uh, for <laughs> start. I mean, I have to say, he's getting bigger. <laughs> He is a man mountain. I, I mean, I'd, I'd love to get him on the pod. If we can get him on the pod, that'd be great. Hados is at Mr. IPL. He knows everything Whoa. about this tournament. Doesn't he? Doesn't he? He's, he's, I mean, he's really invested some time. He obviously played successful with the Chennai Super Kings, but, yeah, he is uh, right across it. Now, now, well, here's one for, for you guys, uh, just a show of hands so we don't offend anyone, but uh, and we'll throw it out to our our viewer and our listener. Oh, no, you just mm. said this too. Um, next week, would we prefer Matthew Hayden or Ricky Ponting? All those in favour of punter, raise your hand. All right, that's listening. sorted. Your hands. <laughs> we don't need, no, <laughs> we don't need to go to the other boat. <laughs> save save it. Right. Save um, we'll see if we can get Punter on next week. But we'll get Haydos on it as well at some stage. No. Uh, uh, Gilly, uh, let's just be honest. Uh, unless MS Dhoni replies, um, you two Aussie pals, uh, they can actually do one. <laughs> <laughs> now, spot on. I've just written that down. MSD, Virat, Sachin, Hardik. That's my list. That's my Mission Impossible. Call me Tom Cruise. So here you go, lots of runs for Australia in the uh, Ashes guest getting yeah. series that you guys are having at the moment. Uh, that was the end of my ponderings. Two questions. Wasn't not going to set the podcasting world on fire, but uh, is that it? We well, we're running out of time here, Vaughn. People have got places to be. Have you got one more ponder in you? I do have one more. Hold up. Oh, greatest spell of bowling on Indian soil that you saw from either an Englishman, an Australian, or an Indian. Oh, you might have kept to one, Gilly. Tom, Tom Hartley. In the first test. <laughs> yeah, great, great. In the Shout. second innings. Greatest of all time. All time, yeah. You got What do you get, seven for? T. Yeah. Hartley. Oh, yeah. Look, I, uh, I think that I've witnessed Harbish and Singh uh, any number of the innings in the 2001 series. He was only about 20 years old. And he, I think he got – how many – so you can get – in a three-test series, there's 60 wickets up for grabs. I think Harbison got 62. <laughs> so he bowled really well. He bowled really well. But nah, legit. He, he was unplayable. All right, there you go. That was the Professor's Indian Ponderings. Uh, oh, what a hit. That was a, What a great segment. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. It's a jingle. It needs a little bit of music, though, a little bit of a jingle. Need to play on. Need to it play does. on. A little something. We'll, uh, we'll work on that. Ollie. I won't get a sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, another yeah. sponsor. Yeah, another board. Um, I liked answer. it. I want to see it come back because you've got a few more. I can see the rundown, so we'll save them for another week. I can, uh, I can yes, see that. Um, we, it is, it is quiz time. Um, just before we do, um, this isn't quiz or anything. It's just what blew my mind. There is the game as mentioned: Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. Sri Lanka got five hundred and thirty-one in the first innings. Mm-hmm. No one got a century. I don't know if that's ever happened mm-hmm. before, but that just caught my eye. Wanted to throw out there. We got some uh, lovely Bangladeshi fans who, um, well, they won't be that happy because they're getting absolutely pumped and it'll be over by the time this is out. Um, but good for them to know. So the other thing starting this week is county cricket is back. A few weeks ago, we did Gilly in the IPL and I said, there's going to be a quiz on Michael Vaughan's first class career. Yeah. And here it comes. It is good. It's- Ollie, can I just make, can I give you a few predictions for the county championship for all our uh, listeners in the UK? Please. I've got a prediction. Surrey will, Surrey will probably win the, the county championship first division. Yep. But there's a, a little tip that I think Durham might just push them. Durham have just come up from the second division. Durham are looking very strong. And no one's looking at Durham as a potential championship winning team. I think they could win it, Durham. There you go. And Yorkshire Please. will win the second division. So a little tip for our, uh, our viewers and our listeners. Wow, Brian Thank Campbell led Durham. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, very good. Vaughn, you're not allowed to in two weeks' time come on here in a yeah. Lancashire shirt or something. <laughs> and say, La- so I wasn't, Lancashire. I wasn't up for Durham. No, <laughs> Lancashire, next I don't think Lancashire can win. Nathan Lyons only come in for a few weeks now. He decided just uh, only come for a few weeks. Well, can't fit him and Hartley in the same 11. 
no, no okay. way. No so, way. Um, actually, on that, as we, uh, you know, lovely sunglasses, there's a sponsor we're speaking to um, who are fantastic, the Cricket Draft. Brand new game. It's uh, on the App Store as of today, and it's where you pick your Fantasy Eleven in England just for county cricket. Um, and oh. some guys involved in that have reached out and having conversations. So make a team and uh, and enjoy it. Try to probably take on Vaughny. But, I mean, you know everything. Yeah. Have, well. have you just have you just have you just plugged the sponsor without them sponsoring us? They haven't been on board yet. <laughs> no, but they this is what this show does. This is what we do. Good thing about Crocker coffee, sunglasses. sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> The good, the good thing about an England fantasy eleven uh, in a fantasy world, you might even win. So it's, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, anyway, okay, on to Vaughan. He's first. So this is first class career on Crick Info. So that obviously does include. It's not just mm. county, is it? On first class, it's county. So there are tests uh, included. Is that right? In first class. Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. that's first class career. So, yeah. so we need to uh, just remember that when we. Go into it. Here we go. Question number one. What is higher, Vaughney's first class bowling or batting average? Mm. Mm. It's got to be my bowling. Got to be his bowling, sure. Got to be my bowling. No, but you, you'd snuck in for a few more first class poles, and I thought, if you can, yeah, got three feet. Yeah, but there were plenty. I mean, I, I bowled a bit down the back end when they were trying to. I played. I played in the year where you know it was declaration stuff. He used to have to oh, right. put me on to lo- he used to put me on to lob them up. Right. <laughs> yeah, bowling. Yeah. Okay. You both go bowling. Um, yeah, batting thirty six point nine five. Bowling forty six. It is. It is. It is bowling. Forty six. Yeah. Very unfortunate there. Very impressive, though. Your test batting average higher than, than your first class um, at 41. Yeah. So there you go. Um, so it's, it's not easy batting in Yorkshire on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two. So there's one all there. Um, what is higher, Vaughney's first class bowling strike rate or his first class number of half centuries? Um, strike rate. Strike rate. Bowling. Half centuries. I'm going in the fifties. Okay, there are sixty-eight first-class uh, half centuries for Vaughan, and the strike mm. rate a little bit more, eighty-one. There you go. Just one every thirteen point four overs, or it's thirteen point five. You must have been setting that. the game up to bowl thirteen overs before declaration. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what is well, we, we were in the era, we were in the duck, like the ducky era. We used to say, "Well, the more the merrier." Yeah, <laughs> just love them up as as many as you want. Um, what's higher, Vaughney's first class highest score or his first class total games? Yeah. Is it? Mm, no, I can't ask. I'm going to go games. Go score. Okay, first class high score one ninety seven. First class yeah. games two six eight. Yep. I sure you did one ninety seven was a test match though, wasn't it? Again, test. absolutely. What? Yeah. Nothing it's for the Yorkies. Nothing. No, it's not, easy in, not, not easy batting in Yorkshire on a Tuesday, true. I can tell you. Should, it should, it should <laughs> know this. You know, your, 50, your 50s in Yorkshire in the 90s should be worth That's, 150. They should yeah. be redoing those uh, those stats. Yeah, the inflation. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 43, three. Gilly yeah. one. Okay, what is higher? Vaughney's first class catches or Vaughney's first class wickets? <laughs> Oh, we can be sure, <laughs> no doubt. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go catches. A <laughs> hundred and fourteen wickets, a hundred and eighteen catches. Oh, there you go. Just out of interest, do they do, do, do they record drops as well? Um, no, they don't. They actually ran out of numbers, um, so we just put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think oh, we're, 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 on a, for Vaughan, yeah. we're on for a full yes. house here, which is very rare. But um, number five. Oh, you could get. Yeah. What is higher? Okay, now we're going to think. The amount of balls Vaughan bowled and the runs he conceded combined. So balls he bowled and runs conceded combined, or 
the runs he scored in first class cricket. So the amount of balls he bowled and runs he conceded, combined number or run. Some big numbers Jeez, in there. That's right out there. It's got to be yeah. runs. I mean, it's got to be runs. Has it? It has. I'm going to go balls. Captain the country as a top order batsman, Ashes winning. Surely you scored more runs than balls. How about I got I got dispatched to all parts. Uh, it's true. <laughs> hang on, 114 wickets at 80 <laughs> strike rates. <laughs> a lot of delivery. I, I, I bowled a lot of balls. Yeah, and I've gone for a lot of runs. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the bowling. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll be I'll go the other way. Go the other way. Vaughan, scored 16,295 oh, runs. 16, he, yeah, he uh, bowled 9,342 balls and went for 5,245 runs, which totals oh, a- at only 14,587. Yeah. So, Gilly, you are right. He scored more. Right Very respectable, yeah, Vaughan. So. Very respectable. There you go, congratulations. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> yeah. Your economy was 3.36. Very nice. There you go. Very good. The, um, no, well the, done. Well done. Good. good win. Good win. As hard as it was to bat in Yorkshire, was it easy to bowl? Not spin. It was a no. ball slipping out your hand. Oh, that was wet. Too. Yeah, right. Of course, <laughs> running the whole time. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, Vaughn. <laughs> Big victory there for England. Uh, well done. Great quiz, Ollie. Um, yeah, all well that's done, left to do... Gilly is your toast, and then I'll do a, our socials call out. Well, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't actually got my typical uh, apparatus and, and beverage. I've simply just got a Mount Franklin water. That, that's all I can do to toast. And, uh, but I want to toast. Is there solid rumour that we've got a bit of merchandise? Is that right? That we're really going to be pushing, or have I jumped the gun there? Can we Abs- wait until next week and we'll have a bit more of an update? No, absolutely. It should be launching very soon. Um, and Excellent. there are some rumors. We're looking at different areas. There's t shirts, we know there's hats. There's also check the Life member pack, including some shot glasses. So you can really be a member of Club Prairie Fire. That is brilliant. Well, I'm toasting news. that. Let's, let's hope that progresses down the track. Cheers to that. Right. Cheers to that. Uh, mm. Just a reminder that. All socials, you can get us at Club Prairie Fire. There is a sneaky extra I in there. P-R-A-I-R-I-E, the Prairie. Uh, look us up. Follow us and uh, on Insta. Like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, Vaughny, is our, are we in the paper yet for our in podcast? No, no, not yet, not yet. I'm just looking at a few of the headlines. Panji gets booed. Mandrake mm. tells the crowd to behave. A royal yeah. thrashing for MI. And here's one, Pants success versus CSK as to India's wicket-keeping options for T20 World Cup. Surely, surely Rishabh's in that team, isn't he? Oh, he'd have to be. We have won an ICC event since 2013. Mm. Just saying. Just saying. And on that merry note, <laughs> for our many, many Indian listeners. <laughs> Until next week when we, well, hopefully it's MS Dhoni or Ricky Ponting or Matt Hayden or yeah. who knows. We'll right. See you next week. Adios. Adios. <laughs> yeah, g'day. Hope you enjoyed that vid. Uh, if you did, please click like somewhere there and then make sure you click subscribe as well. There's lots more vids on this channel. Tell your friends, tell your parents, uh, and we'll chat to you soon.